Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I make a whole chicken in the crock pot. Believe me, after you do this one time, you guys will not make a whole chicken in the oven. Again, this is so quick and easy, comes out so juicy, and you will not regret it. The first thing you want to do is you want to make kind of a rack in the bottom of your crock pot with some tin foil, unless you're Yours already comes with a rack. Mine did, but I also have a huge chicken, so I need to make a little rack. You don't want the chicken sitting down inside the crock pot in its own juices. And then you're just gonna lay your chicken on top. Now, because I will not be eating the skin, I wanna make sure I have a lot of flavor on this chicken, so I'm breaking up that area between the skin and the breast meat, and then I'm just going to rub some spices in there. So I'll show you how I do that. The spice blend that I'm using has two teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of poultry seasoning, a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half of a teaspoon of onion powder, a half of a teaspoon of black pepper, some sea salt, and a half a teaspoon of parsley, and a half of a teaspoon of rosemary. You can, of course, use whatever seasonings you like to use. I just took a whole bunch and just kind of threw them into the bowl. Now you're going to take that seasoning blend and you're going to rub it all over inside on top of the chicken meat and on top unless you're going to eat the skin then you, it's not necessary to do it on the breast but i just feel like it gives a lot more flavor to the chicken so i always do it in both places then you're going to set your slow cooker to high and you're going to cook it for at least four hours on high now mine ended up taking five hours i checked it after four and it still was not quite done and so mine ended up cooking for a full five hours on high and then of course you do want to check it with a meat thermometer um, and make sure it's 180 degrees i check it always both in the breast and in the dark meat as well and then you just want to cut it up and serve your chicken you guys this chicken is so juicy there's so much juice left over you could actually make a gravy with the amount that's left in your slow cooker so that's always an option now don't throw out the bones i save all the bones because i'm going to make some bone broth which you guys will see in another video here in just a couple of days so stay tuned for that video Thank you so much for tuning in to see how I make a whole chicken on the crock pot. Make sure you let me know if you also use this method or if you're going to start doing it and let me know how you like it and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye guys!